decided to start my own YouTube channel. I figured I love talking about motivational things. I love filmmaking. I love video. Why not start? So happy new year to everyone. This is my first Rami video of the year. If you're new here, my name is Maya Weatherall. I am in charge of the Rami series. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with six tips on how to start YouTube for beginners. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, just get started. We all have that idea of, for anything, oh, that would be so cool. I could do this. I was gonna say YouTube. I can do a YouTube channel. But man, I need to find a camera. I need to have a computer to edit. Maybe people won't watch my video. Who, who would want to hear about me talking about motivational things? Should I do it? Can I do it? Cut out the questions. Just get started. Once you get started, you can get a momentum going on your first video. You have to start somewhere to see what you can improve on for the next video and your channel. You won't know until you do it. So if you keep having those questions and those thoughts of, should I do it? Can I do it? Why can't I do it? You're not gonna get anywhere because you haven't seen the results yet. Number two, find your topic. What do you enjoy talking about? Do you enjoy talking about hair, food, books, movies? Are you into technology? Are you into gaming? Are you into business and you wanna talk about money and how to budget right? Are you into DIY projects? You wanna showcase how you do DIY projects in your home? Whatever you're into, find that thing that you enjoy talking about, that you want people to learn more about, new ideas, new things, new tactics, and go ahead and get started. Everyone's searching on YouTube, how to do this, what, look, what to look for in this, looking for short films here, doing this over there. We're always looking for something. So someone out there will find your videos and will like them and want to subscribe to your channel. Number three, equipment. You don't have to have expensive equipment to get started. We all have smartphones, whether it be an iPhone or an Android. Go ahead, put, your, put it on a stand. You can sit down with it, you can hold it if you want to, and get started. Two Sony cameras, one small compact one, and I have a bigger one that's really, um, it's a, a cyber shot, so it's not a DSLR, but it's more of the, it doesn't have a detachable lens. I use that for filmmaking. I'm on my iPhone right now, and I kind of go back and forth with my cameras. I got this stuff over time, so it didn't happen all at once. But if you're looking to get into cameras and you wanna get a higher quality camera, great, but your smartphone will work just fine. If you're looking for editing software, most people have MacBooks or Apple, whatever, not MacBooks, Apple products. So iMovie is free on, on everyone's Apple's devices. You can start off there. If you're looking for some more upgrade level things, um, Final Cut Pro is one, it's $300 for a subscription. Uh, it's one-time payment only, you can get that. I've been told it's the more simpler version of Adobe Premiere. It's pretty simple to learn. I haven't used it in a while, so I couldn't give my own feedback on it. Um, another free thing is WeVideo. You can pay a subscription if you want to, but if not, you can get the basic free items. And um, WeVideo is an online browser that you can type in. You can go anywhere uh, on any device and you can edit your videos that way. Um, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I used it in college, so I wanted to use it again after college, and I love Adobe. Um, some things I'm still learning on. It can be a little um, difficult to learn some things, but look, you can go on YouTube and search in how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, fast ways of editing, and there's videos on that as well on how to use Adobe Premiere, but that's what I like using and that's what I enjoy using. Um, and I'm pretty sure DaVinci is another one that's free. You can download, edit on. That's another one. Um, so yeah, there's many different ways of editing equipment. Lighting is another thing. If you don't have a lighting kit, that's fine. You can use uh, a window, turn on your kitchen light. Fine, so you can buy a little light if you want to. I got this light that I'm using right now from Best Buy for $79.99. It was on sale. Um, so that's what I use. Number four is schedule. You gotta find a good schedule that works for you for uploading. If you're a person that wants to do daily videos and you feel that will work for your schedule, great. If you wanna start off with once a week, great. Twice a week, cool. However long, however much you wanna do in a week, find that fit, that niche that works for you. Don't go overboard. Don't feel like if you post, if you have to post two videos in a week that you're trying to get somewhere, no, because you'll get burnt out very, very fast. I started off once a week, tried to do twice a week, 
And now I'm kind of just kind of seeing what works best for me right now and uploading. And right now it's been Tuesdays and Saturdays. I feel that's the best. I may switch it to another day instead of Tuesday. I actually start with the week because everyone's week starts on Monday. Um, so I'll start off with what with Mondays of motivational Mondays. Um, so we'll kind of see, it's kind of playing around with my schedule, but what works for you? How much do you want to upload? And if that works out for you, great. And you got to be consistent on it too. Consistency and having a schedule is very important. You can't say I'm going to upload twice a week and then you're not going to be consistent with it. You're trying to build your audience, you're trying to build up your content. So you want to be consistent on it. So that's why I said scheduling is very important. If once a week works for you, you got to be consistent on that. Is follow the people that you that is similar to what you're trying to do. So for example, the people that I follow, uh, Peter McKinnon, Maddie Hapoya, Lizzie Pierce, uh, Chris Howe, as many others, they're filmmakers, they're vloggers, they're photographers, they talk about editing, they talk about filmmaking, they talk about the latest equipment in the media industry, they talk about ways of how to be a successful filmmaker, they're talking about things that I'm interested in, and their videos really are cool and how they edit them, what they put in them, the music that they use. I got the idea of how uh, to use epidemic sound uh, for my music um, and I'm going to be using it in this video too. I use it for most of my videos. Epidemic sound is a paid subscription. I pay $15 a month and I got that idea based on watching my people that I follow that I'm into. And so if you're into hair videos and you're trying to figure out how to best edit your videos so you can captivate your audience. Follow different people who talk about hair, see what they do in their videos, and use that as a template. Don't copy them because you're not them, and that's their channel. They had to figure out a way to get their videos looking that way. But if you want to take pieces from different videos that you watch and the people that you follow and incorporate that into your video, great. Do that. It's like mentors. Learn from those mentors that you follow and incorporate that in your video as well. Number five is music. Did I get to number five? Probably not six. Music. Music is very important. Sound is very important. And I have to learn this many different ways. When I would record my first videos, it didn't sound right, or it was very muffled, or it wasn't loud enough. Um, when you watch a video, any video, we can be okay with the lighting. We can get by with the lighting, but it's the sound that gets us. If you see how, you know how some audio is out of sync, that bothers me. I can't stand it. I have to stop it, rewind it, turn the TV off, restart something so it can sync up with the lips. Uh, sound is very important. Music is important too because you don't want to have a video that's just talking all the time unless you're doing a film and it's only dialogue, only no music. But after a while, it kind of just becomes a little boring and you don't want that. You want people to keep watching your video. You want people to be intrigued in your video, stay tuned into your video. So music is very important because you can listen to the music and then you're like, I like this music. Let me watch more of it. Let me listen to this person more because I like how him, her, or they did it. So sound is very important. Making sure that you have, you don't have to have the expensive microphone, but making sure you have, you're in a space where you can, where you can hear yourself. And when you play back your video, if it sounds great to you, perfect. Usually when I set up my video, um, I have everything turned off, windows closed, TV off, whatever. So then there's no background noise unless I'm doing um, a certain type of video where that stuff is okay. But if I'm doing like a talking video, I wanna make sure it's quiet so you guys can hear me and we're all good. So those are my six tips, um, very simple tips. Um, there's of course more and we can get into that more later of other different tactics and tips of YouTube and how to be successful on it. But those are the main things that I learned of how to get started on your YouTube channel. It's just getting started. It's finding your schedule of uh, when to post and being consistent on it. Finding a topic that really interests you. You don't have to have expensive equipment. And also um, sound is important. I did forget one. Number six is have fun with this. Don't be so strict and I have to do this and because after a while you just become, you become less motivated by it and you don't want to upload anymore because you're so serious. You're taking everything too seriously. Relax. Have fun. If you talk with your hands, if you 
you know, if you're a person who likes to tell a joke in between what you're trying to talk about, just be yourself and have fun with it. Because at the end of the day, what makes your channel unique is you. No one else can be your channel but you. So, and we're always looking for different ways. We're always looking for different things to watch, new things to learn. And if we're all doing the same thing, something similar, it gets, it just becomes mundane after a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's still fresh into the new year. We're still building our resolutions up. We're still trying to find new goals to accomplish this year. So if YouTube is one of them, go ahead and look at these tips as well as others who uh, have other ideas as well. And I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Happy Monday. Woo! Happy Monday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.